Hi, it's with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you for joining me today. I've been quite busy, traveled for the first time in two years, and decided it was time to move my craft room all around. So here's the video I mentioned in a formal Frugal Friday video. You will see where my idea for the design came from, several techniques, and a make-it-yourself tag, and as I always do, I use what I have on hand. First, I want to show you a little bit of how I get started. I started looking for ideas. Sometimes I catch from videos, but other times I just grab the Close to My Heart catalog, which is our newest one, the October through December. I flip through it until I get a design I'm looking for. I know it looks strange because it's like, how does that work? Here's what I'm going to do. I look at the base design and I do some improvising. I, start, I started with a few thoughts, like I really like that bold cinnamon color, I like those stars, and I like that variation of the horizontal line and the focal point. So in this case, I'm going to use some of those factors replacing the focal point with the paper towel holder and I decided maybe I'll put a tag in there too. So that's where we're going to get started. We are it does change along the way. Just an idea of what I may use to make this. Um, an old stamp set that I have. I'm thinking that might be cool to actually stamp on there, but I'm not sure yet because that's going to be hard to do on this paper. So we're going to do some work on this, and I'll be right back. Oh, and one more thing. I am going to grab my um, coffee, uh, coffee paper. I know this looks like a hot mess, but I will tell you that sometimes using these are my best ideas because I think I cannot get rid of this. I love this texture so I'm going to make it work and I'm hoping to make it work in this design here today. So let's get to thinking about how we're going to put this together. Hopefully this will give you ideas and inspiration. Now let's get to crafting. I'm going to try to use this glitter gel. I know that I've just made a Frugal Friday showing you how to make shimmer sprays, but I thought it'd be really cool if I could incorporate this as well with maybe a paintbrush. And then, of course, here's the shimmer spray that I made in my Frugal Friday video last month. So these are some of the things I'm thinking about doing just to kind of doctor up this dark color because I love being able to do that. So we'll see. We'll just keep working through this. Here I am just spraying on some of the gold shimmer spray. I love this technique. It adds just a little bit of flair to the dark cardstock. Now we'll set this aside to dry. Next, I grabbed some of the new stencils from the bundle from Close to My Heart that is now available. And just a quick little tip, I take each one and create a little 2x2 two two square of each of these designs. That way I can quickly see which might work best. In this case, I picked the little snowflakes for this card. Now, I'll tape it to my mat and use an old brush to just grab some of that gel and stipple it onto the card base. Quick and easy. Then, I'll set it on the side to dry. This doesn't take long, but if you want to speed it up, you can use your embossing dryer. While that's drying, I'll grab some of my scraps. I'll create my own tag, which is really, really simple. I just snip the corner, use that same snip, put it on the other corner, and use it to cut that off. This should make the corners even. I hope that makes sense. If not, take a look. Now 
Now, here's where I'm kind of trying to decide how I want this to look. I'm looking at to I'm looking to see if the tag will fit in my paper towel roll pocket that I've created. Then I decided I think I'll grab some oxide inks and kind of give it that rustic vintage look. So I took my Distress Oxide and distressed it around the edges on the coffee paper and the paper towel pocket. Next, I'll play around with the design on some copy paper until I'm happy with it. And this is the design that we're going to be putting on the, on the paper towel roll. While I'm doing this, I thought I'd show you another little trick. One of my other little cost-saving tips is I'll grab a post-it note, stamp on it. In this case, I'm using the pine cones cut it out and use it as a mask so that I can layer the look on this paper towel roll cardboard. This saves a little money and I store them in the stamp pocket for the next time. Next, the trick will be to get this design onto the roll. So I ended up cutting the paper towel roll in half so that it will lay more flat. That way I can stamp on it. Plus, I did have to add some cushion onto the back also. Now we just need to put it all together. At first, I tried to use my oxide inks on the paper towel holder, but that wasn't a clean image. So I grabbed my mocha and my evergreen alcohol ink, and it worked great. Now I'm building my layers with my mask to give the image a 3D look.
Now at first I wanted to just stop with the ribbon, but you'll see here I decided it needed just a little bit more. Unfortunately, I lost the footage, but I grabbed my pops from scrapbook.com and put a few little berries in the middle of the leaves just above the pine cones. To add the horizontal look into the design, I added some Love from Lizzie strips about three quarters of the way down. I just love that gold. Now I'll put the little pocket back together with some strong double sided tape and voila! We're done with this card. I love this look. In hindsight, I wish I had picked a smaller image so more of the coffee paper would show up. But I'll have to create another one just so that I can show you how great that coffee paper look and texture is on these cards. I have a few that I've shown previously. If I find them, I'll add those to the end of this video. So that's what I have for you today. I want to thank you for watching my video today. To my new subscribers, welcome. So glad you're here. For all of my other subscribers, thanks for sticking with me. I hope to get three more videos out by the end of this month, so stay tuned. I plan on getting a Frugal Friday video out, my sheet load of cards video, which by the way, will be 18 cards, and of course, my end of month video. Thanks again for joining me, and until next time, have a great day.